guys, I'm Deidre, and it's time for yet another episode of Weird Animal Facts. Today's guest is a fierce predator, strictly a carnivore who hunts at night. Let me introduce to you this striped beast. It is Tony the Tiger Salamander. It's a salamander. But not just any salamander, a tiger salamander. Rawr! Salamanders are some of the weirdest animals out there. As an amphibian, they are related to frogs, newts, toads, and of course, salamander cousins. But as an amphibian, they are not a reptile. No, not a reptile. <sighs> they are amphibians. In fact, what differentiates them from reptiles is their skin. <laughs> Amphibian! Hey, did any snot come out with that sneeze? Oh. The reason why I ask is because snot is very important for a tiger salamander friend. <laughs> Amphibian! Oh. Just like how we have a mucous membrane in our nose to help protect us from things like dust or germs, <laughs> amphibians are covered in mucus. And mucus is just another word for snot. <laughs> amphibian! And that's actually why I like to say amphibian after somebody sneezes. Go ahead and take in a deep breath. <gasps> now let it out! <sighs> that's how we breathe. And uh, it's kind of boring. <sighs> especially compared to the tiger salamander. Now they do breathe like us with their mouth and lungs, but they also breathe through their skin. Wow. Take in another deep breath. <gasps> what you're breathing in is oxygen, and that's a gas. <laughs> Did you know that oxygen is also in water? H2O. That O stands for oxygen. And not only can salamanders breathe in oxygen through their skin, they also can absorb water. So that means if I was a tiger salamander and I was feeling dehydrated, all you would have to do is throw some water on me. <laughs> so because they can absorb water and oxygen through their skin, that's actually why it's very important that their skin stays nice and moist, which is why having that mucous membrane around them is so important. Achoo! Amphibian! So the salamander's skin isn't just important for the salamander's survival, it's also important for humans. In fact, scientists use salamanders to indicate to us if the environment is out of whack or not. By counting the number of amphibians in a habitat, we can determine how healthy an ecosystem is. In fact, because they indicate to us how healthy it is, we consider amphibians to be an indicator species. So next time you or one of your friends sneezes, think about that mucus-covered membrane of the amphibian and how their skin helps scientists to determine how healthy the environment is. Achoo! Amphibian! 